Today, I wanna to show you guys a camera that was sent out to me and it is the E-Meet Stream Cam 1. And this thing's pretty cool. I did do a live stream with it the other day and we'll talk about that in a second. And we're gonna test it again today. The E-Meet Stream Cam 1 is designed to be a streaming camera, a live streaming camera anywhere you wanna go. Whether you use your cell phone signal or a Wi-Fi signal, these cameras network wirelessly to be able to go ahead and give you a live stream. You can do multi-cam setups with these up to three cameras and let me show you what comes in the box so out of the box you get your little case here and the camera now my camera's on a tripod that didn't come with it but you've got your camera and you've got your microphone now this acts as a shotgun mic but it also acts as a wireless lav mic so you can wear the wireless lav mic and step back from the camera and do your thing or you can place it on the camera and use it as a shotgun mic. Now I do have two, so we've got a two cam set up today. And if you wanna check out my live stream I did from the studio, check it out right up here, but come back because we're gonna go and try to do it through cell signal and see how it turns out that way. Other than the case, the camera, it comes with these stickers in the box that allow you to mark which microphone goes with which camera for when you have multi-cam set up. So I have camera one on this one. And while we're up here, let's talk about this. So. You can add a micro SD card to it for internal recording, but if you don't add the micro SD card, you can also internally record on your phone. And you've got a wired microphone spot if you wanna get a wired microphone in here. And then you have your USB-C for charging as well as hooking up to either ethernet or doing it as a webcam for your computer. The fun part about these aren't the fact of doing it as a webcam to your computer, it's the fact of being able to do this all from the app. And the app acts as a little like OBS studio on your phone. So that's pretty amazing. Let's get into the app, look at it, and then we're gonna go out in my car and it's cold out here, so I'm not gonna do anything outside because I don't want to, not because I don't think the cameras can handle it, and do a little stream in my car. Just I'll pick a spot, maybe, maybe I'll try to get some good scenery outside. <laughs> well, well, at the spot we pick, but otherwise I don't want to be outside in the cold today. So we'll go out and do that, but let's look at the app. And I'm gonna talk about the app a little bit and I'll show you more of the app while we're doing the live stream in the car. Both my cameras turned on and I'm just going to go ahead and show you a few things here. Then we'll go do that live stream I was talking about from my car and I'll show you kind of the rest of it. If you didn't watch the one I did the other day in the studio for a live stream, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the screen here and under materials, you can add different elements. So you can add the picture in picture. Um, so if I'm here, I can add the picture in picture to show off the product that I'm showcasing or whatever I'm doing and or throw text on the screen. And you'll wanna probably set this stuff up ahead of time. If you know you're gonna need specific text, set it up be ready to just click it on like this. It's just gonna be an advantage. I did try to add text while doing the live stream and it seemed like it glitched it a little bit. So if you just have them already programmed and you tap them, it's great. All right, let's exit out of here. I'm gonna turn off all this picture in picture stuff. You can mess with your audio, we're down at the bottom. So I hit camera to get back out here. So you got camera, you got material, you got audio. Audio will tell you which camera you're picking up audio from, how much your output is on your audio. Other features that are great is throughout this camera, under the camera, we've got our camera settings. So we got HDR, anti-flicker, auto flip. You've got your metering modes, mirroring. I do like it mirrored for pointing to stuff in the screen, but otherwise I don't really like it mirrored. Camera modes, I leave it on auto. You can manually adjust stuff, but it gets a little tricky. So I leave it on auto and I hit sunny because sunny takes the edge off. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in original right now. So here's sunny, here's original. And see how blown out my face looks like right here and stuff. Um, so going back to sunny, it just like mellows it out. It's like it knows there's bright lights and it's like, let's mellow out those bright lights. And I'll just run through the other ones so you can see them. But again, I recommend sunny, vivid, cloudy and black and white. So under auto modes, sunny is my go-to. Within the camera itself, you've got AI tracking, which will track where you're at in the screen and zoom in according to how far and near you are to the camera. And I can kind of show it to you real quick. So you can see it makes the frame and then it starts zooming it in at the speed that you set it at. So I set it at uh, two seconds, I think, for the speed to change it. 
so it gives it two seconds to get there so it's not such like an aggressive zoom okay so over here's our settings for that i'm going to exit out of that get rid of the ai once i turn the ai off it is going to stay where it was at and if you see the full screen slash zoom is highlighted still, if I unhighlight it, it will go back out to the full screen. I say we get out and go ahead and test out the live stream in the vehicle with just using cell phone signal. All right, so I got it going live here in the car and I am um, just <laughs> trying to do this different setup here using it in the car and I'll show you where my other camera is. And yes, I did pick a cemetery to do this live stream. So <laughs> it was the only spot in town where I felt like I probably had enough signal, but it also was away from other people and I wasn't probably gonna be bothered while doing this. So here's my other angle. So that's a little bit of a weird angle, but if I was driving for some reason and I lived in a place with a good signal and I wanted to do a live stream while driving, I technically could. So I was just kind of trying to show that off here and I can do the picture in picture so I could see both if I want to. And we could do a live stream while driving. So that's kind of crazy. There's just one of my setup. And I've got one set up here on the headrest. I live in a small town in Vermont. So uh, doing live streams for me in this town is probably not great. Now, if I went to our bigger town, Burlington, where I do get 5G signal, it'd probably be just fine. Um, Cause like the 5G signals most of the time better than most Wi-Fi signals. So whatever you get with Wi-Fi, is going to be your best, obviously, but um, doing a live stream over um, the network like this, over a cell network like this is, is fine too. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up and um, test it out. And I don't know if my volume's good because I am over there and I could take my microphone off and it looks like I have good volume now. I don't know, I did not look at this screen before um, to see if the volume was good or not. I guess I could just do this. I didn't look at this screen before to see if the volume was good or not. Um, but right now it looks like it's measuring well. All right, let's end this live stream and wrap this up. In conclusion, the eMeet Stream Cam 1 is an excellent solution for getting a multicam setup and being able to operate it just from your phone. Now there's a little bit of couple glitches that you might have noticed in my video and I realized what happened with them. And I just want to talk about those real quick. So you will get a little bit of a delay between the camera and your phone. So as long as you can um, be fine with watching it on your screen on your phone and having it delay and it doesn't screw you up at all, you're gonna be fine. So just, you can't let that screw you up. Also turn the volume down on your phone while you're recording so you don't hear the echo from the volume going through it like a second later. That'll help you out too because when I first started trying to stream, I actually had the volume on my phone and it was just like a feedback loop. So don't do that. And the other thing is you might have noticed when I was sitting at the cemetery doing that in my car, which was, I don't know why I picked this cemetery. Anyways, when I was sitting at the cemetery while I was doing that in the car, you might have noticed the white balance shift in the my camera one. And I think it was because of how I had the metering mode set up. So if you put your metering mode to center and then whatever's on center, don't have it shift around to where it's going to be picking up a different white to be balancing off of and a different thing to be balancing its exposure off of. So whatever your metering mode is set to, make sure that whatever's in that range isn't shifting throughout your video. Otherwise you will get those color shifts. And you know, in a live stream, people expect some glitches and delays. I worked for a local public access station and we had pretty heavy duty equipment and you would still see some of those glitches on our live streams of games and stuff like that. So it's nothing to fret about. When people are watching live stream, they don't expect it to be a perfectly edited video. So as far as the price point and what these things do for you it's pretty amazing and like i said it's like an obs software in your phone being able to like manage a full live screen on there is is pretty pretty fun and awesome so i do recommend checking these out and maybe it's a solution for you and if so there's a link down in the description that'll take you right to them and whatever the current deal is that's going on for you if this video helped you out at all hit the like button subscribe to the channel to see more budget videography gear tips tricks and all that fun stuff until next time check out whatever youtube recommends for you right there go shoot something awesome do it with whatever camera you have on hand because that's your best camera since you have it on hand and don't forget to post your work peace out guys see you next time bye